welcome back to my channel. This is my little cat, Luli. She's gonna be my assistant today. She doesn't know yet and she has no idea what I'm saying, but that was Nalu, if you guys saw it. That's her little son. Anyway, today I decided to take my easel outside and inspire myself from the elements. Feeling the nice breeze that we are blessed with today listening to the birds singing as I'm gonna be doing a seascape. So I received a last minute order and um, the person who contacted me is asking for an inspired seascape from Leeward Beach in Providenciales, Turks and Caicos. So I'm gonna be taking you guys on this journey today of uh, doing this seascape and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it. So Follow me guys! Alright guys, so let's start. Here are the colors that I am going to be using for the seascape today. So I will be sharing with you guys the color for the sky, for the sand, for the trees, and also for the ocean. So as I am moving from one scenery to another, I'm going to be writing down the colors. So here I am starting to mix my colors. I'm going to be using phthalocyanine blue with a little green shade inside of it so it can reflect the color of the ocean. This way it will blend all together much better and have a more natural look. I'm going to be using cobalt blue as my main color in the sky. I'm going to be mixing both of these colors with white and create a, a gradient lighter shade of color. I'm going to use the darker color at the top of the painting and make my way slowly down to lighter colors to create the gradient in the sky. Since this artwork is a representation of a sunny, a bright sunny day, I'm going to be mainly adding blue colors in the sky. Now that the sky is complete, I'm going to add soft silhouettes of clouds using a really light shade of blue. It's, it looks like it's almost white, but it's a really light shade of blue. Slowly towards the end, I'm going to add more details in the cloud so I'll add lighter white color. I am using the titanium white from Golden to mix my colors. So I'll add a little bit more clouds and wider softer color at the bottom. Now that the sky is complete I'm gonna start working on the sand. I'm going to create a rough pattern and as I work my way towards the water and the ocean and the greens, I will refine more and more the sand shape. I am using Titan de Chamois and I added the tiny little tint of red and also I am mixing it with some white to create lighter shades in some areas. Hey guys, so I am so sorry. We're gonna be missing a few steps here because without realizing, my memory card ran out of space as I was working on the last part of the sand and starting the greenery. But for now, I'm gonna be using the tape to make a straight line to start the ocean. At the top part, I am using the turquoise from Golden. And for the ocean, I am mixing a Vert Perle Pastel Green from HM, which is an amazing store, my favorite, which is in Canada. And they came up with their own acrylic brand, which I love their shade of colors. So I will be using that color to make the ocean part and make my way towards the bottom of the artwork and refine the lines of between the sun 
and the ocean. Next, I will be mixing some Titan de Chamois, so the beige color, with the turquoise to create the, um, the sea foam that's at the bottom, at the side of the ocean, to make it more realistic. And then gently, I'm going to use some white to create the sea foam and add some details to it to make it look more real and have the real effect and the movement of the sea. It is so important to work on these small details as they are literally what will make your artwork come to life. So take your time and add, you know, a lot of small little lines and follow the pattern of the ocean. At first it, it doesn't really feel like nothing but as you move along you will see it will make the complete difference in your artwork. Now that the ocean is complete I'm gonna be adding some extra details to refine the greenscape. I thought that it looked a little bit rough so I'm gonna be blending it a little bit better with the sand using lighter shades of colors. I'm also going to be refining the clouds with the titanium white and add the small little last details to make the artwork come to life. So since we are missing the greenery part of this video, I will make sure to do a video for you guys sharing how to do the palms and the greens and the shrubs. So please guys, make sure you click the button below and subscribe to my channel so that you can follow the next acrylic painting adventure with me. I so appreciate your support, guys. Thank you so much.